Hey guys, welcome to the show. I'm Dwayne Dunleavy, and today I have our guest, Rachel Hale, who is a JC alumni, just graduated. We're talking in October 2022. Welcome to the show, Rachel. Thank you so much for having me. Hi. Absolutely. So I saw Rachel in one of our sessions, and of all of the videos there, she was the most professional. She had everything worked out, and I thought, what a great um, example to give to the class, which we did during the class. We showed them why her videos were so good and all that. And then when I was interviewing Coach Mike Bizzari, I thought to myself, why don't we have everybody kind of have their videos watched by one of the instructors and critiqued without them there? So that way they can tell their true feelings and the person who the video belongs to doesn't feel like people are just being nice because you're in their face. So that's what we're doing. And I think it's a new feature that we're going to do with a lot of different people, which is a great thing because it not only helps that individual, but it helps everybody watching it to see why these things look the way they do and how people do look at them. So welcome, Rachel, and uh, congratulations on your videos. They're really great. Now, since you have graduated, what has happened over the last week or so? Uh, well, I've definitely been looking more at uh, the auditions I've gotten on the Syngency profile, my TMI profile. I've gotten a lot of auditions through there. I've been accepting them. And I mean, the goal is to send in my applications or videos, the audition requests they ask for and cross my fingers that I get some. Hope I'm right for the part that they're looking for. Awesome. Yeah. And that's the thing I'm always telling people, don't think of auditions as auditions. Think of them as free classes on how to deal with strangers in a weird entertainment environment. <laughs> so, um, well, so tell us a little bit about why you got into uh, JC and what inspired you to start this line of career at your age. Yeah, absolutely. So I've always done theater up until about kind of high school. I stopped a little bit, but all my life I did theater summer camps in my community theater. I did some school musicals and things like that. I actually, I actually participated in some other classes with a different uh, agency uh -huh. when I was younger. I've always loved it being on stage or, you know, how they say like in the spotlight, I've just, mm -hmm. I knew right when I, stepped on stage the first time at my summer camp when I was like eight years old, that that is what I wanted to do for the rest of my life. And I looked into a few different programs and agencies and saw that uh, John Casablanca's looked very successful and it had the classes that, you know, I always open to learning new things and preparing myself more for the future because you're never going to get anywhere if you don't practice before you get to those places. So. Um, it looked awesome and it's been great and I'm so excited that now I'm graduating, uh, now that I'm graduated to take the career to a different place and achieve those dreams that I've had since I was little. Yeah, that's great. And, you know, uh, one of the reasons that we chose your videos was because they're professional and that's the number one thing. I mean, I think people really focus too much on all of the content being perfect with the lines and all of that and you know practice with your lines and acting and all that is obviously very important but the most important thing is being professional and authentic so um those are the top tier of what we're trying to impart on people and so your videos had those and and what i thought would be um interesting too is to be you know now that you've gone through the whole program have your goals changed since the beginning? Like, have you been able to more focus on your goals in this career, uh, do you find? Uh, definitely, yeah. I mean, before it was more like to be famous, to be in TV shows, movies, whatever, things like that. But um, now definitely seeing like the auditions come in, seeing my TMI profile through all the classes. Um, it's definitely a lot more about experience right now. I'd rather go to auditions. I mean, I think anyone would rather like get an audition, but it's more about for me, I want to like go to as many auditions as I can, get as much experience as I can, uh, things like that. So I'm obviously focusing on the big goal, but it's definitely opened my eyes more to everything being a, a learning opportunity. And um, I've kind of narrowed down on more what I want to do, learning about all the different parts of the 
entertainment industry kind of and just the modeling and acting industry and looking yeah. at what specifically what roads I want to go down. Cool. And and it seems like you've already grasped onto the idea that this is a business that you as the actor or model actually own. It's your business of acting and modeling the agent can get you jobs and all that but ultimately it comes down to how professional do you present yourself as a, an actor or a model because that's what gets you the job so yeah. you know we i think some people come into this thinking oh i'm going to be discovered i'm going to be rich and famous and you know that used to happen in the 50s and 60s when there were only about a hundred famous people <laughs> right but now you know everybody can be famous a, a 12 year old down the street in her bedroom can have a you know, a million views and people know who she is and all this. So it's no longer about really becoming famous and rich. And, you know, I always focus on too, most people, if you watch videos uh, of people who are rich and famous, all they talk about is how it's not what they thought it was and how it's actually been harder for them mm -hmm. because everything is relative. You know, if you have yeah. a lot of money, that means you have a lot of bills. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so um, that's great. All right. So we're going to now take a look at an excerpt from the video that I took with Mike looking at your videos. So awesome. let's take a look at that. Let me tell you a little bit about our featured student for this episode. Uh, her name is Rachel Hale, and uh, I had her in my, um, it was a monologue and commercial class. And so we were, of course, performing our monologues and commercials. And I just thought from the get go that hers were great. They were concise, very nice, good lighting, good background. So you tell us what you think. Um, I'm going to play it for you. I will share the screen and we're going to start with her runway video and that should be good are you able to see that pretty well i can see it yep okay cool all right so here we go with rachel hale's runway video Good. Okay. Um, right. I don't actually teach runway, but um, I have, um, you know, observed quite a few and I do give feedback in certain classes where yeah. it's required. And so um, what I can see is she did wait in her model stance for the appropriate time. Her um, walk seems, um, seems kind of standard with one foot in front of the other. Uh, she seemed to be kind of swaying a little bit with that walk, like maybe one foot in front of the other, a little bit too much to cause her to kind of sway in, an, in a little bit of an odd way compared to some of the other walks I've seen. Yeah, so maybe like more of a... Um, yeah, like she's kind of, of a, you know, it's like the one foot's going a little bit too far over in front of the other to make her... So, yeah. but, I, but I like her flares. I like that um, kind of a graceful move into her first pose. And then um, nice, confident look in that first pose. And then the second pose is very nice with the arms folded and, the, you know, the nice big smile. So generally speaking, so so she's a little dark at the beginning as well. Yeah. And then she walks into light. Looks like hair, makeup, attire, all good. Uh, no sound, which is preferable. And I do like that um, very, um, you know, kind of um, upscale, fashionable move into that first, first pose. And then the mm -hmm. second pose, I like the poses a lot. Yeah, yeah, me too. I think what she, like the overall, what she did is very pleasing to, I think, anybody watching it. Um, but I love those critiques too, that she could lighten it up at the beginning a little bit more, not sway so much. Um, and, you know, the posing I think is great. Maybe even a little bit more light at the end, just to really uh, brighten up the face area, because she is so beautiful too. Yeah, it's um, the, the light is directly above her head, which is very typical and, you know, the kind of the hallway runway exercises. And um, yeah. I think she's utilizing the space to the best of her ability. And um, so one to 10, what would you say? I'll give her about a seven. All right, cool. Let's move on to Rachel Hale's monologue. Hi, my name is Rachel Hale and I am represented by Model and Talent Management. Hey, can I talk to you for a sec? 
I just really need a friend right now. Last night was one of the worst nights of my life. My entire life for two years went into this guy. And this is what he does with it? He throws it all away for some random girl at a party. Are you kidding me? I put my heart and soul into every bit of that relationship. He was like my other half. And for so long, I thought he felt the same way. That was until I found out. Right when he got home from that party, I knew he'd done something. He's so stupid that he'd get away with it without me knowing. I threw everything he had in my house outside and told him to never come back again. I knew I had to stand my ground because I deserve so much better. But part of me still misses him every day. He had my whole heart and just shattered it with no remorse. The thought of ever trusting someone again just makes me sick. I never thought it was possible to love and hate someone so much at the same time. Thank you. Hi. All right. Um, very nice. Um, showing a nice range. Um, I like the way she, um, you know, her inflection matched her body language and facial expression and all her actors tools. And uh, she sort of went in and out of, um, you know, emotional bursts, which is kind of what we look for, what we sort of hope for and encourage in our in our student performances. I think that type of performance, you know, attracts the attention of casting directors who will be seeing the videos once they're posted to their TMI accounts. And I thought it was a very nice night, very nice work, very effective, very natural and believable. Um, it's probably just the way she speaks and and um, behaves nat uh, normally or naturally, but um, it seemed a little bit um, fast paced. Um, mm -hmm. I would, I would, I would suggest to her. I would like to see a version of this where she would just try to slow it down just a little bit more, take a couple more pauses, take a couple of breaths in between some of those phrases, um, just as a, an alternative, kind of a, another version, uh, just to see if she's able to take direction and slow the pace down a little bit. But, um, but other than that, I thought it was a, a very nice performance. Very nice. Good. Yeah, I think that those are great critiques. And um, I think, yeah, if she took a little bit more time with these thoughts, which are actually very emotional thoughts. Uh, so it's it's an easy uh, transition to move into taking your time with these and even acting them out without speaking. Right. Yeah. And um, I, I thought her, um, uh, you know, everything matched, though, even though it was, um, I think, a little uh, a little faster than it than it may need to be. Um, everything, all her her body language matched the speed, so um, yeah. So so that's what made it natural and believable. So like I said, I would just like to I would suggest to her, uh, let me see another version where you, um, you know, I don't, so I don't know how long the, that timed out, but let me see a version where, you know, uh, you're taking a little bit, you're breathing a little bit more in between some of those phrases. Yeah. Let me see a little bit more evaluation. Um, uh, before you uh, before you deliver the lines and just take your touch, slow the pacing down a little bit. I would just like to see a, uh, an alternate version like that. Okay, cool. All right, and one to 10. Uh, that was pretty nice. I'd say it's um, right around a eight. All right, eight, perfect. Yeah. All right, and then here we go. Rachel Hale's commercial video. Hi, my name is Rachel Hale, and I am represented by Model and Talent Management. Don't you love Black Friday sales? Well, Macy's is like Black Friday year round. From kitchen appliances to clothes to anything and everything you want or need for a low price. Find your local Macy's today. Thank you. Hi, my name is... Yeah, that, that was excellent. That was an excellent commercial performance. It was... Um slightly bigger than her normal behavior i would i would um i would assume which is something that i suggest to students in yeah. terms of commercial work to you know exaggerate it just a little bit you know five ten percent exaggerate it make it a little bit bigger um it seems to be more effective in terms of sales and commercial performances which is sort of what she did and um excellent commercial tone and body language using all the tools facial expressions gesturing inflection that had great commercial tone that was an excellent commercial i'd give that about a 10. awesome a 10 on her commercial that's great so 
um, as we've seen here, you know, uh, all of the videos are really very close to being, you know, nine or tens uh, with a little bit of help, with a little bit of uh, help with the critiques that you've been able to give today. I think Rachel's videos can really get to the point where they're like amazing. So thank you so much, Mike, for that. And I'm sure that Rachel will thank you for that because she's also very professional. So I can see her really, uh, really appreciating being critiqued as opposed to just constantly searching for praise and, you know, all of that. I'm always telling students that that's one of the things you should always hope for is a critique on anything you do, because anything you do can always be better. Yeah, so. definitely. Uh, I don't know that... Um... Uh, yeah, I don't know that uh, like in um, diving competitions, you know, it's hard. You know, it's, it's rare to get a ten, <laughs> right? Yeah. Everybody just seems to, or, or ice skating or whatever in the Olympics, um, it's rare to get a ten. You know, people just hold off for that absolutely perfect performance, and it, it's it, it's almost um, you know kind of a mythical thing. I'm not even sure it truly exists uh, to, yeah. to be able to get a hit a ten. But um, I thought her commercial was definitely. Uh, but pr absolutely professional. Um, if she was auditioning for uh, for that product or service, um, I definitely think she would have a excellent chance of being cast. And uh, so, um, so I think that definitely deserves a ten, as rare as it may be. Awesome. Well, I'm sure she's going to love to hear this, and I'm sure that everybody's going to get a lot out of this. Hopefully, the viewers can see that the things that made Rachel's videos so good and the things that you were able to bring up that could make them better are all things that everybody can apply to their own videos for getting work. So hopefully this can help them in that way. There we go. All right, cool. So what did you think about that? That was awesome. I'm very excited. I was hoping he would give me, um, cause the, the runway I was a little like the most, uh, curious about so i was glad he gave me some feedback on that and definitely the monologue i was also kind of overthinking and i mean pretty much all of it i was i'm very excited to get more feedback on that that's my, one of my favorite parts i i i'll redo it fifty thousand times until it's <laughs> the best it can get <laughs> any awesome. feedback any critiques is Awesome. Exactly what I'm looking for, yeah, so. and you know that's basically how the business works. I mean, even if you right. do a commercial or a movie or whatever, they're never taking the first take. They're making it do fifty, a hundred takes. Exactly. So you might as well get used to it now. <laughs> you <Yep>. know. <laughs> so uh, congratulations on graduating. Congratulations on your videos. We're looking forward to seeing your updated videos. And thanks for being a part of this. Oh, I have one last question. Okay. Um, if you let's say tomorrow get your dream job. Uh, from this career, what it specifically would it be? Well, that is that's a difficult one. I mean, I think I've always, I think like I want to be actor and model both. Definitely, yeah. I think. Um, but, but keep in mind, you can change this tomorrow too, so yeah, you're not locked true. in. Even if today you say I want to be Supergirl, tomorrow you could be on a soap opera. You know, yeah. <laughs> probably. Uh, like a lead character in some type of movie. Uh -huh. um, like a drama? Perform maybe, yeah, maybe like a, I like comedies. I think like I, I'd probably either a comedy or like a rom-com. Cool. Be and then perform with like celebrities. That would be like the, the dream job. And then for modeling, um, I've always had the dream to model um, at like New York Fashion Week, maybe be on Project Runway. Cool. All right. Those are great goals. And the reason that I let make people focus basically on what they want is because to manifest something is not magical. It's really just about focus. Absolutely. And once you have a goal to focus on, you may hit totally different other things on the way to that goal. But at least if you have the goal, you're focused and you're not worried about the stupid minutia of the world. You know what I mean? Yes, definitely. So, all right, well, congratulations. And who knows, maybe one day we'll be taking this clip and showing people like, look what happened to her. She was thinking, oh, I'd just like to be in a movie. And here now she's a huge international star. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so, maybe one awesome. day. All right, well, thank yeah. you so much, Rachel. And thanks everybody for watching. I hope this helped everybody and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, my name is Rachel Hale and I am represented by Model and Talent Management. Hey, can I talk to you for a second? 
I just really need a friend right now. Last night was one of the worst nights of my life. My entire life for two years went into this guy. <laughs> and this is what he does with it. He throws it all away for some random girl to party. Are you kidding me? I put my heart and soul into every bit of that relationship. He was like my other half. And for so long, I thought he felt the same way. That was until I found out. Right when he got home from that party, I knew he'd done something. He's so stupid they can get away with it without me knowing. I took everything he had in my house and just threw it outside and told him to never come back again. I knew I had to stand my ground because I deserve so much better. But part of me still misses him every day. He had my whole heart and just shattered it with no remorse. The thought of ever trusting someone again makes me sick. I never thought it was possible to love and hate someone so much at the same time. Until now. Thank you.